Uh, good morning from a rather damp West Midlands where the news is that Birmingham City have parted company with manager Wayne Rooney after a fairly disastrous two and a half months in charge of the St Andrews Club. Uh, during that time Birmingham picked up the fewest points, uh, won the least matches and conceded the most goals of any team in the division and perhaps it was inevitable following the events at Ellen Road uh, on New Year's Day uh, that the uh, that a parting of the ways was inevitable when the fans uh, turned on the former Manchester United and England great. Uh, people will ask what now for Birmingham City and what now for Wayne Rooney and whether or not this uh, was inevitable from the very start, whether it was doomed. Um, it was a difficult brief taken out from John Eustace who had uh, taken the club into sixth place uh, following a bright start to the season. Um, the club did lose its way away from home where it had only won one match, um, but back-to-back -back victories over Huddersfield Town and West Bromwich Albion had left the club to many in, uh, in pretty rude health. And with a newly assembled group of players, Eustace was finding out about them, finding out about the strengths and weaknesses. So the axe falling when it did was also always going to leave people wondering as to why. Well, the, the answer was evident at the, uh, the unveiling where Gary Cook, Chief Executive Gary Cook, um, made it clear that um, the club wanted a new brand of football. It saw that progressive football was the way forward and they asked Rooney to provide it. Unfortunately for both Rooney and for Birmingham, uh, the group of players that he had taken over were pretty much, uh, pretty much proved themselves incapable of, of pr providing it. Was the decision to part company with him inevitable? Was it doomed from the start? I don't think it was. I think if Rooney had taken a step back and paid a bit of respect to the uh, to the uh, formation, uh, strengths, tactic, tactics that Eustace had put in place and that served the club reasonably well at the start of the season, then perhaps he could have bought himself some time. Perhaps he could have communicated that better to the supporters, distanced himself from a, what was a really difficult brief to try and turn into a reality with a group of players that he couldn't affect until obviously the opening of this January transfer window. Um, unfortunately, he didn't do that and there were some fairly chastening defeats. Uh, away at Coventry City was a particularly galling one um, for 4,500 uh, fans that made the uh, short trip down the M6. Uh, and obviously the final straw came at Ellen Road. There was one or two other pretty insipid performances as well at home, uh, notably to Stoke City on Boxing Day. Uh, what now for Rooney? Uh, who knows? Um, he probably might need to take a step back uh, to uh, lick his wounds and uh, consider for himself where things went wrong. I have to say on a personal level, I very much enjoyed his company. I found him to be very open, very engaging. Uh, and I just feel it was a bit of a shame that this, uh, what was uh, an exciting project, uh, couldn't be taken to some sort of uh, for, uh, fitting conclusion for all concerned. Um, but for, for Rooney, it's probably a period of, of reflection, uh, introspection and to work out exactly where he gets, takes his career now after a pretty, um, uh, pretty inconclusive spells at Derby County and DC United. And clearly this one is gonna go marked down as a failure. Uh, as for Birmingham City, they will sift through the raft of uh, applications and candidates. They've got a little bit of time before they play uh, Swansea City uh, in a couple of weeks. Um, they've got the, Hull, the game against Hull uh, in the FA Cup, obviously on Saturday. Um, but Steve Spoon has been placed. In, Steve Spooner rather has been placed in charge. Uh, he knows the club inside out, back to front, uh, and hopefully uh, there is good times ahead because there's been plenty of activity, positive activity, uh, away from the club. Unfortunately, it's just been out on the pitch um, with the net um, with net result that Wayne Rooney's lost his job.